Hey guys, hope you're having a fantastic evening. So today we have here with us the Gigabyte uh, Vision RTX 3080 Ti. Uh, this includes the uh, the NVIDIA NP architecture, ray tracing, the LSSS. Uh, this is basically uh, just uh, like a 3090, but it's much better for consumers. Uh, it uh, has the 12 gigabyte version overclocked, three fans, and uh, this is this comes with GDR6X memory. So of course this is a mining video. So we're gonna. I'm thinking of doing a four-part uh, series of regarding this card. The first one will be only focusing on Ethereum, and then we're gonna take a look at how to unlock the full potential of this. But uh, since Ethereum is still the most profitable algorithm, so we're gonna focus uh, on that. So I'm gonna do a little unboxing, and then after we're gonna take a look at the benchmarks. So I have here the card open. It says "Broaden your, your horizon." It's a very nice looking card. It'll be like the white color. It has three fans. Uh, the only thing is that it's a very long card, so make sure it can fit in your set uh, chassis. However, I think uh, Gigabyte did an amazing job with this card. It's a super nice looking design for the 3080 Ti. Uh, this card basically uh, 3090. Honestly, it's just uh, cheaper and better for consumers. Uh, it should be a quite uh, really strong card for mining. We're gonna have to, of course, unlock the electrolimiter. So yeah, I'll launch the benchmarks and uh, stand by. So we're gonna take a look at nice hash. Uh, first thing you wanna do is when you open the application, you wanna go to benchmarks and make sure uh, that you select only here. You click on here and you select only uh, Dagger Hash Motor with the NB Miner. Uh, this is because I noticed uh, NB Miner had uh, the best results for me and uh, Dagger Hash Motor is the Ethereum algorithm. Um, so once you do that and you uh, run the miner, you wanna make sure you have uh, Unless I have the burner settings, there's a couple uh, there's a couple of options you can run the overclock settings on, but this is the first one we're gonna take a look at. Is 100% power limit, minus 702 on the core clock, and plus 1300 on the memory clock. So uh, I'm gonna go here and start running here. I'm gonna have also uh, the CPU running uh, at the same time, and uh, but we're gonna mainly focus on the GPU here. As this is the video for that. So, as we're running here, we can see here that the um, portability here will uh, update. Um, first of all, we have the CPU getting around uh, 0.38 USD. However, I'm going to wait on the Dega uh, Shiboro. So, as we can see, we're getting here 78. Uh, 0.95. This is a very good hash rate, um, considering that I think if you run it with no overclocks, you get close to uh, 60. So uh, at least with overclocking, you're getting uh, 78.95 uh, mega hash. However, um, this is not the the way I recommend that you mine on this with the core clock to minus 502 because. Uh, this is running 9 for 78, however, I'm noticing that if I keep the core clock at 102, um, the hash rate will play, it will go up and down, uh, because the core clock is playing, as you can see, my 1030, uh, 600, 700, 1000, so uh, NB miner won't handle this properly, and uh, I figure out uh, an amazing way to do it, so if you just go ahead and lock this, you need to have uh, unlock the curve edit uh, the curve editor here. You can go here in the settings and you can enable it. Uh, it's uh, super easy to do. Uh, let's make sure you unlock here the voltage and uh, voltage monitoring and control. And then you go back. And then after you're gonna I saved it here. I created a curve. I'm gonna update it to that. And I'm sure the curve I had made here. So basically what I did is that starting the 800 uh, voltage. I put all the values at uh, 1500. So this what will happen is that this will lock the core clock at 1500 and this will give a very stable result. Uh, so once I do that, uh, you'll see that uh, the hash rate here will stabilize around the 78 uh, to 79. This is what I'm getting. However, uh, what the, the main benefit is, is, is getting a stable hash rate. We don't want a hash rate to go to 30, then 40, then 50 because of this uh, core clock uh, playing around. Um, uh, and uh, once it's it's locked at 15, uh, like here I have it at 1515, 15, you'll see uh, a very stable hash rate. 
so I've let this run for a while a bit and as you can see I'm getting 76.93 uh, I'm using now the recording software so it will be always a bit less uh, however this is I think this is the best way I found to run it so far on Ethereum of course here there's another way to uh, to have a full LHR unlock with nice hash however uh, this video will be focusing on mining Ethereum because uh, we know when I still want to mine Ethereum till uh, before the moving to uh, proof of stake in uh, later 2022 I think we have still like eight months left so I'd rather focus on Ethereum for my card however we have the option of running the, the Ethereum with Ergo and uh, with the uh, Kaupab Raven coin, so there's other options to have a full NHR unlocked. This is in the next video, but uh, please let me know uh, what you're getting. Are you too as well locking the core clock like me? And uh, if you find better results, another reminder, I'm open to suggestions. However, uh, at least with this one, I'm getting stable results 76, 77, 78. Uh, I'm not getting the ups and downs if I left the core clock at uh, without a curve at uh, minus 502. So uh, please leave me a comment, subscribe and uh, let me know if you have any suggestions to improve this. Take care guys.